So I want to share my views on the topic racism. And before sharing my views, I want to share a speech of a president on racism. Racism will never end as long as white cars are using black tires. Racism will never end as long as black is symbolized as bad luck and white color is for peace. Racism will never end as long as people wear white on weddings and black on funerals. Even in snooker, you haven't won until you snuck the black ball and the white ball must remain on the table. And from this page, you can observe that racism is not only the problem in India, but in other countries also, but mainly in India. So, uh, racism is just how we can judge a person on his color. So, if we relate to racism, there are two types of people. One who face racism and one who promotes racism. For the people who, who face racism, I have a thought that defeat is not when you fall down. It is when you refuse to get up. People will always make comment on you, no matter how good you are. People will judge you according to their moods and needs. So I will say to all those that be you and don't care about the society. They will make comment. The matter is, don't accept it. You know what you are. Your parents know, your friends know. They will never judge you. But the people do. It's their work. And for the uh, people who promote racism, I want to say that stop for a while and think what you are doing. What you are confused in your life. You are confused between human being and vegetables and fruits. Like in vegetables and fruits, we judge them by their color. Like the red, red one apple is more sweeter and the yellow one is tasteless. You should be different. You should be able to differentiate between fruits and vegetables and a human being. You can't judge a person by its color. If people are judged by its color, Hollywood would never be called Priyanka Chopra or Deepika. They would call some actress from Pakistan. They are more fearful. So uh, create a life that feels good on the inside, not just to show off. So if people are like plastic surgery, my lips are a little bigger. I should have plastic surgery. Why you should have plastic surgery? Why you are not happy with your lips? God has given you, nature has given you. Be who you are and support what you are, not how you look. There is a different definition of beautiful, not that what people make. People have said it the word beautiful, like if she looks good or not. The beauty is in the soul. Be you. Thank you.